Oh, Rupel Boom. Season 2, Episode 3. Um, we're on the 9th of January, and it is the Revenge Game. Oh, yes. We lost to them 8-2 at the start of the season. Oostend, our ground. <sighs> Trying to sort out that hideous defeat. Last time we played them, we lost only by the one goal. Now, it would be a testament to what we've achieved this season if we can beat them today. Now, we have unfortunately lost one of the big players. Uh, I'm stunned, honestly, stunned of what's happened. As um, De Wolf, I can't remember his first name, but De Wolf has left. It's got to transfer history. And honestly, it, it's just so confusing why he's gone back to PSV. He's not even playing for the first team. He's been recalled because he wasn't playing in the right uh, position. I was playing him on the right-hand side, but he was playing so much for me and he was developing very well. That news came as a blow, but we're not going to let it hurt our season at all. All right? Some of the younger kids are getting there. I think... Let's have a look at the development center. We have our first three and a half star player in the under 21 squad. So Simon Lassalee getting close, you know what I mean? But he's on that left hand side. Um, and one really good player goes out, one good player comes in. Wilbert Deman. Lovely. This guy's from AZ. And we actually wanted him in the summer. But for some reason. No idea. Probably because he turned 18. Maybe. You can't loan him out until they're 18. Who knows? Um, we wanted him in the summer. We confirmed it, expecting him to come in the summer. But actually, he's come now, in January. And some are coming next season. So that's going to be really weird for them, just coming into a club that expected them last year. Um, how we're going to make space for them, if we could possibly make space for them, I have no idea. But Wilbert Deman, really good player in a position that we desperately needed. We needed the striker position to be better. And there it is. So now we have Deman and Source running our front line. Uh, funny goal conceded, knocked out of cut. Right? Okay, so if we could look at the schedule, we did lose this game against Union in the Belgian Cup 7th round. And the second goal is quite the goal. As we try and clear it, it hits one of our guys bang in the face and just drops to for Udav. Whatever his name is, Undav. There it is. Just <laughs> smash right into the face. Can't really defend that, to be honest. Um, but yeah, that, that's fine. Seventh round is fantastic, to be fair. Uh, DeWolf free kick. Uh, might have been his final free kick and final goal for us. What a way to bow out Yora De Wolf. I mean, I did like that kid. And it, it's just, it's good. I'm, I'm gutted that I'm not going to see the end of the season with him playing for us. We'll see this, we'll see this free kick. Uh, free kicks have definitely seemed to be torn down this season. I've not been seeing uh, many goals scored, but that is, that is quite tremendous, isn't it? Woohoo! Right, okay. So that's De Wolf free kick against Lierce. Uh, Wilbert Demand scores 10 minutes into his debut. This is against Sar Sarang. So at home, we lost 2-1 to Sarang, didn't we? Away, we won 5-1. Yep, I don't make that. That doesn't make sense to me. There's actually a couple of uh, notes from here. So Wilbert Demand just did the bike post from a corner kick, I believe. And then this Hoxha goal, the fifth goal that we scored, is absolutely delightful. So 10 minutes into his debut, there's Deman. And let's try and pick out this Hoxha goal. Well, I think he scored this on his on the outside of his foot as well. Potential goal of the season, not going to lie. I mean, that, um, what you call it, the De Wolf goal uh, from all the 40 yards out earlier in the season is going to run it close. So let's go back. I think we've covered everything. No other transfers. Uh, definitely inwards. Outwards, we might have had a couple. Um, 
Adele's gone El Adel Al Masude, uh, Yusuf Co Cursor. Um, he's gone. And Christian Royer. Interesting. Let's have a look at the reports for him. His potential wasn't brilliant anyway, so I mean, that's not really a player that we should be worried about him dropping out of the actual setup. So yeah, they're just, they're just players that have gone to ease the wage structure. So I'm happy with that, and I'm trying to get rid of a couple more because, I mean, our first team is, is quite bloated. Um, this is including a, a ton of trialists, uh, some really, really good... And I'm trying to uh, get what I think is one of the uh, most talented players, if not the most talented players, uh, coming out of the bottom tiers, just outside of the first tier. And he's a right back out of Sarang. Sarang. Let's try and get him. Let's try and find him. Players. We got, we've got the age? We're not. We simply can't choose by age, right? General info. Sort by age. Is it this pilot Palo guy? Guy? Yeah, yeah. There you go. Enzo Palo, a right back, looking really good. Nineteen determination, and he is out of contract very shortly. We've got already put a contract in. Hopefully, he decides to sign with us. That's a big one. We are also trying to find some talent from the Anderlec setup, a left back that could, in theory, replace Basong. Because Basong doesn't have the maximum potential ability. So that's to come. I can't wait to announce it, if, if it does happen. But right now, Rupel Boom against Ustende. Ustende. And it's going to be a Dongan El Harak in the middle, okay? It's probably our weakest point now, maybe? That midfield. Um, Sensi, I mean, he's a good replacement for DeWolf. Very, very... Well, it's a similar wheel. Obviously, DeWolf is better. Okay. I'm ready to go. Let's do it. Um, also, in the under-21s, the Polish centre-back that we've got was running at four-and-a-half star potential ability. But good current ability is now changed to maximum potential ability. So, something to look forward to. Um, one of our big centre-backs that we've had for a couple of years, he he's looking to move his wages. Wage demands are eye-watering, so we will not be renewing his contract. I'll try and find, I will try and find his name. But he was one of the highest rated players last season. And I think he wants one point something, two point something in terms of wages. I'm like, look, I can't do that. Um, especially knowing that we can get centre backs either from our youth team or from the free agents that are just as good, but will not ask for that much money. Can't do it. I'd love to keep some people around, but not in not jeopardising. Uh, the club's finances at all. That's a problem now. Okay. We can change it up. We've got backups. Throw him in. We've even got an injury in the left-hand side of defence. Basong slightly uh, troubling. Come on, lads. Don't want to be nervy. We can do this. These guys have absolutely crushed it, by the way. There's no way that we can catch this. And it's not like the uh, third or first tier where they, like, have a championship group and, oh, keeper, and um, half of the points, which could possibly make them, like, catchable. They're just, they're just going to fly up. Uh, I think top is automatic promotion and second is a playoff with... It's going to be half-time. Playoff with probably second bottom in the top tier. I would be very happy with third. It's it's the best of the uh, chasing pack, so to speak. We did not expect to be here. Um, best guesses or best um, possible season for me 
um, realistically, I thought was going to be about sixth. And um, it's way better than sixth, isn't it? Match stats, yet again, uh, pretty close. Let's pause this. I tell you what, if we had DeWolf, I think we would have been able to do this. Uh, we don't have a natural left-sided defender. Let's have Garcia. Nope. We're going to keep them two in. Left-hand side, Siebens. That is a player that hasn't played a lot at all. But he is, he's been brought in right now. I think it's genuinely time to bring in uh, the two really promising wingers from our under-21s. Start getting them game time and then let them hit the ground running next season. Uh, conditioning. We don't have our backup right back on the bench. Midfield. No. What have we actually got on the bench? A defender? A striker? Two strikers? And a l well, another striker, really, technically. The Quinton Cartels, I wouldn't... Uh, Carells. I said Cartels, didn't I? Qu Quinton Carells, I wouldn't put on the uh, left-hand side if... I had the option to play someone else. Just going to have to be two subs. Mm. Probably should have checked that out. Also, what is that? What's going on with the uh, defender that's not deciding to renew his contract? Strange, not, uh, strange to see him not play. Can you even go back home? I don't even think you can go back home. That's something that might have to be worked on. Surely this little button here should be able to drop you drop you away from the match. There's no leave match option there. Oh, home, home. There we go. All right. So I'll tell you which is the player, who's the player to be uh, troubling in terms of contracts. Is it? I think it's... Yeah, it'll be Abdul Karim Dante. So his contract will be up at the end of the season. He's on £130 per week. Like, that was a great deal for the club. But he's now wanting... Don't know, actually. Let's try and have a look at the reports. Reports. It's not going to tell us anything about what he's, what he's wanting in terms of a contract, but it's over a grand, 100% over a grand. It's a lot of money to be uh, giving out especially when I know for a fact we'll be able to find someone of that skill set, maybe even better, for way less money. It's the wonderful world of the regens, you know what I mean? Like, regens coming in, outperforming, and then all of a sudden taking spots of first-team players. Great block. Fantastic. E might be on side, but more Van... Makes the save. Morvan's been tremendous. Honestly, he's been fantastic this season. And you haven't been able to see uh, some of his best bits. But even this, even a 1-0 loss, in comparison to 8-2, this is such a change. A dra okay, it's maybe 2-0 now. But it's such a drastic change. This, this, is, this team has made me incredibly proud, even though... Obviously, we got off to the worst start, but it's it's the fact that we got off to the worst start and still having a pretty solid season that um, that delights me. I'm telling you, we're gonna have to find a game this season before it's out that I actually win. <laughs> it would be nice. Um, apparently, there's another um, there's another highlight to come, so let it be one of ours. Come on, Val Van, get in. Oh, some sauce hitting the. Post gutted. Can't believe it. So three games this season that have been recorded and three losses as Basong handles the ball. We haven't been lucky at all with injuries, I guess, in this side uh, this time around. But I'm happy. I'm happy to con consolidate, um, consolidate this season, uh, finish mid-table and just get better for the season onwards. Not only that, I feel like getting promoted this season as well would actually be detrimental. I think it'd be too soon for uh, the younger group of players, especially. Uh, some, are, some are looking really, really promising. Probably uh, Pro League, uh, the higher tier standard. So that's that. Unfortunately, it's another defeat to Oostend. I mean, these, these guys are quality. I'll show you in the competitions. 43 points. 
we are happily, comfortably in third place. Don't think we're going to be catching uh, second anytime soon. Uh, but we do give Lommel some very close games. Um, so, you know what? I'm happy. There is absolutely no way, no way on earth that we are getting relegated. And to that, I say, thank goodness. We're still on the up. Rupel Boom will eventually make their way into that top tier. I don't think it'll be this season. All right, let's have a look what's um, in the schedule down at the bottom. Couple of home games to end up. All right, right. Mm, 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 mm. Sod it. Let it be the last game of the season. I don't think there'll be anything on the line uh, against Vestalo, who are very close to us in the table. Actually, thinking about it at the end of the season, can we still watch this game? We completely missed this game. We, um, I think it was the Liège match that got us promoted. We didn't talk about this game that I was really scared of. I thought we were going to lose, but actually we won 5-3 in a fan fascinating, fantastic game where jean Marvi Garcia bagged a hat-trick. Um, so that, that was superb. Next episode, we'll be playing Vestalo at the end of Season 2. Until then, I don't know. Chill. Support us. Maybe drop into the Discord. And, um, yeah. Go Rupel Boom! <laughs>